Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a loungewear try on haul and everything I'm showing you guys today is going to be coming from Walmart. So I'm so excited to show you guys this because I'm someone who like lives in loungewear and when I say live in loungewear, a little bit about me, I am a working mother, um, I do help my husband run a business and I don't have a lot of free time. However, I also work from home sometimes. So I like to stay comfy when I'm home working, when I do have some free time and I get to lounge around my house and just relax. I want to be in such comfy clothes, but I also don't want to spend an arm and a leg. And you guys, let me tell you, Walmart has you. Walmart has definitely stepped their game up over the last couple of years. This is honestly, I think, the biggest clothing haul I've ever got from Walmart because they, they've really stepped their game up a lot. I have to go through their clothing department every single time I go in there now, and I used to only do that at Target, but Walmart's now got my attention, y'all, like I promise. So a little story about me, and I shouldn't say story, but a little reference, you guys. I am a medium to smaller plus size person. I stand five foot nine. I weigh about 220 pounds. I have super broad shoulders. Um, I wear an extra large 2XL in like fitted shirts and t-shirts. I wear like men's unisex shirts. I wear a large. And for my bottoms, I wear a 14-ish in jeans, and I couldn't even tell you what dress size I wear. But I can also fit in a zero or a one in plus size. So I'm kind of all over the board. Like I said, I am just a medium size type, medium to smaller plus. So if you guys have a hard time like me finding someone your size, hit the subscribe button down below because trust me guys, I'm going to try and help you out here because I know this struggle bus all too well. But anyways, you guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this haul. Now, this first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is a sweatshirt that has been all over Instagram. Like I've seen this exact camo shirt all over Instagram. It was 11 and some change. So $12 sweatshirt. It is the camo print. It is actually like a high low pattern, which you will see here in a second when I do model it for you guys. But it is super comfy. I did slip it on to try it on the other day because I want to see if it was comfortable as everybody said. They have such a variety of colors of this. I actually want to go check out more. Um, I have seen on, I don't remember whose Instagram story now offhand, but I did see an Instagram story that they actually have this in like a gray colored camo. And I really want that if not, I'm just going to snag it in like a regular gray, but it is a great sweatshirt for the price. I can't say enough stuff about it. Um, when I did slip it on, it was super, super comfortable and I can't wait to wear this. Like I said, it's a, it's a basic pretty much. You put this on with some leggings, with some skinny jeans. You can wear it around the house. You could run to Target or Walmart with it. You could wear this so many different ways and it's adorable. So I still have the stickers on here because you know your girl's just a little on the lazy side and does not want to take them off yet. But we do just have on the camo sweatshirt and it's nice and oversized. And again, it's that high low, but it's not like extreme. I'm not someone who likes the high low feature. Honestly, I like when it's all actually like super long, but this is so comfortable. And for the price range and like everything, I just, I couldn't pass it up. The high low is not like a deciding factor where like, oh no, it's not worth it. I would actually go back and like I said, I would go get this in another color. I do want it another color. It has been all over Instagram and it should be because dang, Time and True did it right with this one. Like, uh, y'all need to go pick one of these up. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a set. Now I got this from the pajama section in the loungewear where that sweatshirt came from the actual clothing area. This came from the loungewear area and the shirt. Now this is a secret treasure, by the way, which I believe the camo shirt was a time and true. This one is a secret treasure and it is just this leopard with the green print top. Now I thought when I looked at it, it was going to be a little on the croppy top side, but it's really not too, too cropped. It's actually more of like a high low top, just like the other one, which I feel like is the big style right now. It is kind of a sweatshirty type material, but it is a short sleeve shirt. However, it's like thin sweatshirt, not thick, thick sweatshirt. Um, it is like short sleeve with the sleeve like cut with some stitching on it. I think it is adorable. It is super comfy. It's the one thing in this haul that I have actually like worn worn. Um, the second this caught my eye, I had to get it and it came with pants or it was paired with pants at the store. They are just these joggers that also have the green um, tie in the front that has the Z on them. These are so comfy, you guys. It's got super deep, big pockets on here. If you um, you see this at Walmart, you just need to snag them. Even if you don't get the top, just because it has this gray tie and um, you can also fold it over because it has a very thick waistband like right here is just the tie like that's from the waistband to the tie is here 
you can take this and fold it over and cover your bow tie and no one would actually know that this is green so you don't really have to worry too much about that green matching other things and I just I love it it's so comfy and it's it's worth it you guys they had it in blue too but it was just an all blue and I'm not crazy about the all blue or else I would have got both of them so here is this outfit. Now, leopard print, cheetah print, I'm not sure which one this in is. If you guys, obviously they're different animals, but if you know the difference in the print and how to tell the difference, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, this print is super cute and it is, I thought it was gonna be like crop crop, but it's not cropped. However, it is a little higher. It is a high low style again as well. That's just what's super in right now. So high low in cheetah print, you have two in factors right now, which makes this super cute. And then the little joggers, as you can see, and these have super deep pockets, which I love. And like I told you guys, if you got these, like you have that bow, you could still roll it over and cover it up and they look good. They are super like, I don't want to say they're slimming, but I mean, my fupa looks pretty great in these. If you, you think for loungewear, at least to me, my fupa looks great. And I love this. This is probably my favorite set that I have ever had. I wear this thing every time it is clean, like the second it is washed. I will actually probably leave it on when I'm done with this video and like just wear it for the rest of the day because it is my favorite. It is so comfy. These pants just, uh, these alone are worth it. The top going and matching is just like a bonus, but man, it's cute. And these pants are just so freaking adorable. I have another clothing set to show you guys. Now this one, I think I saw this on Kiki Morabito's channel. Don't quote me, but Kiki's channel is going to be linked down below. She is actually definitely someone worth checking out. Her style is so cute, and I believe I saw this on her channel. If I did not, I'm so sorry for sending you guys over there, and it's not, but she's worth checking out. Anyways, you guys, it is going to be this leopard, and this is, again, a secret treasure. It is a long sleeve, like, velvety, fleecy type material. I don't want to call it, um, not terry cloth velour i don't want to call it velour but it's almost as soft as velour but it's got a little more of a um i can't even think of my texture today you guys but it's got a little bit of a different texture to me to it than velour does but again it's very very similar to it fleece it's got more of a fleece feel than velour there you go that's what i'm looking for and i do live in texas you guys so this is actually something i'll wear on into the winter on like cold days now this is a set i would only wear at my house i would not wear this out of my house because it's just a little too bright for me however they do have sweat sets that are like prints like these that are super super cute i just couldn't find a color like in both sizes like my top and bottom that i like so i just didn't and i passed on it and went with these instead and then you do have like some jogger type bottoms that are just the same type of material and these are super cute along with they do have the pockets on them now they also had other prints but you guys right now the whole leopard and cheetah thing is what is really really in so how could i pass up on this because you know carol baskin carol baskin that's what this just reminds me of in that whole tiger king thing which fun fact you guys if you don't know this I have actually been to the Winniewood Animal Sanctuary. I'm from Oklahoma originally, and we stopped by there one day on our way back from Dallas. And if I can find the picture, I'm going to insert the picture right here to show you guys of my brother and I petting one of the little, um, it was a liger, a mix between a tiger and a lion that they had there. And you guys, it was so cool. Um, we got to go back in one of the trailers that was shown on that place. And it was just interesting to see somewhere you've been. But anyways, here nor there on that. So this set, I do love it. I got a large bottom, extra large top, which I think all the tops I got were extra large, by the way, if I haven't said that yet. Um, some people I watched, because this did show up in a couple of reviews, um, or a couple of hauls, but some people I did watch say to size up and get a bigger size. I went with my normal extra large, and you guys, I have like room. It fits me like I would want it to. The pants fit great. I have a little room here, which the pants I was super skeptical in because sometimes like I have no booty. Like if you guys can't tell, I have no booty back there. So pants do fit me a little bit differently because I am super flat um, booty butt, but then I do have big thighs. So I was really, really skeptical, but like I went with my normal ones. I did not size up like people suggested, and I did A-OK -okay on this set. And you guys, it's actually really like warm and fuzzy and super nice, and I really like it. And if I could find this in another print I was really wowed by, I may actually buy it again now that I have it on. So this next piece is by Time and True, and it's not just loungewear per se. You could actually wear this out and about, dress it up, dress it down. But something I like for loungewear around the house is a cardigan. Now I am someone that wears leggings and like a band tee or a basic t-shirt and throws a cardigan over it. 
for some warmth. However, I just had like a black and gray and just basic cardigans. And I wanted something a little different and mustard seems to be like a super popular color now. So I saw this mustard cardigan and one thing I loved about it is that it has the big deep pockets on the front right here, which is like a requirement when I was looking for a cardigan. Um, this is literally the like ideal one that I saw like pictured in my mind. I love it. It's super cute. It's super lightweight. Again, I live in South Texas, so super hot, super warm things just don't fly around here. But this is super lightweight, and I think it will work for my fall and for my Christmas time, winter time stuff. So excuse the big light here, you guys. I'm sorry. It's my downfall to being tall, having problems. But anyways, here is the cardigan on, and I did pair it with a Johnny Cash basic tee that I did pick up as woman as well. This shirt was $7 in the men's department. Um, I'm actually going to cut this and distress it. So I put it on just to show it with you guys to show you can get, actually get a shirt at Walmart to put with this if you wanted to make an outfit. But I got it with this and paired it. I will show you guys it with a different band tee here in a second that I actually would wear this with. But anyways, here it is. Like I said, we got the big pockets here, the cute little sleeves. It's super lightweight. I love how a little fit it is in my shoulders. And like I said, I have broad shoulders, so I don't like fitted things typically. But this, you guys, is so adorable, so cute, and so comfy. And like I said, it's light, but it's warm. Um, I think it's cute. If I find it in black or find it in gray, because I do know they have it in a black and gray as well, I do plan on picking it up, like, for sure. And I did pair it with some of the Walmart leggings with, like, the little cutout detail down there. So here's one way I would wear this. And let me put on a different t-shirt for you guys. Now, this Def Leppard shirt that I have, which I know a lot of places actually have Def Leppard shirts like in right now that you can pick up. However, my shirt was actually for their concert that was canceled due to Rona. It's, that's why it says Tour 2020. We were going to go this summer for my birthday and see them and Motley Crue because I love both, but didn't happen. However, I still got the shirt because it was mailed to me from Ticketmaster. So I would wear this paired with this. I actually got this shirt to wear with a Rob Zombie shirt that has like a yellow tone like this in there with him in the Dragula, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I think the yellow and the Def Leppard with this goes great with this. And I would just wear this together again with my leggings. I would also wear this as not just loungewear. I'm not dressing it up for you guys to style and show you, but um, this video is only loungewear, so I would show you guys. But I could wear it with like a basic white or a basic colored tee, something that was maybe like a basic color with like a fall saying on it, and then just like some jeans, whether they be skinny jeans, mom jeans, whatever, or even other leggings. It's just, it's multifunctional, you guys. So I mentioned with the camo sweatshirt and that last cardigan about leggings, you guys, and let's talk about Walmart's leggings. So I picked these up for, I believe, $7, and I actually have a pair of these on right now, you guys. I love these No Boundaries leggings. Now, I do advise sizing up. Typically, on a bottom, I would have got a large, which is what this pair I'm about to show you is. The one I have on today is an extra large. So do size up a little bit because No Boundaries is, like, junior fitting. But for me, for six, $7 leggings, you guys, these are so worth it, and they are so comfortable. They're, like, buttery soft to me, and I adore them, honestly. I have probably five or six pairs of these between black and like one or two gray ones. They have them that have like little detailing here at the side. They have different prints. You guys, taking a peek at their leggings is actually like a good thing. Um, these leggings I have are probably a year or so old. They are from last year. Plus I wear them during the summer on the weekends and stuff. So they have held up for under $10. These have held up so, so good. And I love Okay, you guys, so this top I did not get from Walmart. I actually got it from either Burlington or TJ Maxx. It's Crazy Train, which you can find at the you can find it at both of those and Ross as well. But I picked it up at one of those for like 10 bucks. But what I'm showing you guys is these leggings, as you guys can see right there. There is some detailing down there. I actually have some that come up to like right here that have like mesh on the side. That's just a crisscross detailing as well as I have them in just like plain solid black that I showed you guys a second ago. These are super cute to wear with a sweater like this. You guys saw me pair it with the sweatshirt. The cardigan I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. I could actually pair it with that. You guys, these for the price of them and the way they hold up, they are so worth it. And I advise you guys to go run and get like at least one pair of these. 
Okay, you guys, I showed you the loungewear that I picked up for this fall and winter season. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this fashion type content because this was something new for me, something outside my normal comfort zone, something I have not done before for you guys. And I just wanna make sure that you are enjoying it and like it, so give the video a big thumbs up so I know to create more of this content for you. If you're not already part of my YouTube family, I would love to hit, have you hit that subscribe button down below and join me and um you guys that's it for this video and i really hope to see you in my next one bye y'all